Thank you. So um, um, regarding supplements, nutritional supplements, um, this is an area where a lot of us are confused. We've definitely hear certain supplements are thrown around a lot, like get vitamin D, get DHA, EPA, get vitamin C. What is your exact list for someone who says, I do not want Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. They're very scary. What is the exact list of supplements from one to 15 that you were saying, <laughs> your research is saying is the most important supplements that we should all be taking for the prevention of these two? Oh, may I? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> uh, I would say that because 93% of Americans are below the bare minimum on vitamin E, that vitamin E is an excellent supplement to take. Unfortunately, uh, the vitamin E on the market is not real vitamin E at all. It's synthetic alpha tocopherol, a mixture of eight different elements that look like alpha tocopherol, but only one is real. The other seven are fake. So if you're talking about supplementing vitamin E, what we did in our trial was we had people eat an ounce of walnuts and an ounce of, for gamma tocopherol and an ounce of sunflower seeds for the alpha tocopherol. This is the real deal. We also found real vitamin E, which is very expensive and hard to find, virtually impossible in a supplement. But I do think vitamin E would be at the top of my list. Also vitamin C, which is also very important. And vitamin C, as you know, recharges vitamin E. Vitamin E will implant in a neuron and protect it. But once it's reduced one free radical, it needs vitamin C to recharge it so it can continue. So those two would be at the top of my list of supplements. Vitamin D is also very essential and, and low in many diets. And if you do get enough vitamin D, you're likely to get a lot of toxins along with it. So vitamin D would be an excellent D3 and uh, probably of 1,000 to 4,000 IUs a day, which is 25 to 100 micrograms in the more modern terminology. So those are a few. Uh, also zinc, manganese, selenium, and copper. Uh, are needed uh, in supplements every day. Again, with those trace minerals, you don't want too much and you don't want too little and you want the exact right form. Selenium should be selenomethione and so on. So you want the right form and the right amounts of those things. We actually produced, we had a lot of people in our trial and we had trial supplements, but people outside the trial couldn't get those. So we produced a brain and body food supplement that has most of the things in the trial, including everything I mentioned. We're actually able to get the real vitamin E at double the cost uh, in there. So as far as other supplements, um, coenzyme Q10 would be a nice one. It's difficult for our bodies to make it when we age. It's a crucial antioxidant. And you've mentioned the mitochondria several times. It is absolutely essential for the electron transport chain to function at all for aerobic energy production. It's named ubiquitone because it is found in every cell. But again, the form is important, ubiquinol or ubiquinone. You want ubiquinol, it's a better form of it. Uh, I could go on, but I, I don't want to talk too long. But anyway, there's my top five or 10 for you of supplements. And, oh, vitamin B12 and folate, don't forget those. <laughs> um, and then in general, and as Steve mentioned, you know, we're deficient. We're, most of us are deficient in zinc, about a billion people worldwide. Many people deficient in magnesium, many people deficient in iodine, many, many people deficient mm -hmm. in potassium. So these are relatively common things. Choline is another one. And of course, our omega-6 to omega-3 ratios, which should be much closer to, you know, three to one or something like this. Mm -hmm. Many of us are 15 to one, 20 to one. Uh, so we often do have too much of the pro-inflammatory omegas and too little of the anti-inflammatory omegas. But for many of us who are deficient in the various things that Steve mentioned, absolutely, I think, critical to get this optimized. Both well, for me, my website is drsteveblake.com. Thank you all. It's been a pleasure.